Thank you. Uh, it's great to be here with so many supporters of Freedom to Work. And this is the year we're going to get it done. Yeah. I want to salute the extraordinarily able leadership that we've had in the House. The speaker Deal proved as majority floor leader that he could actually deliver results for us. He led the override last year of Governor Nixon's income tax cut veto. And, 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 and he had, you know how many votes he had on third reading on that? They said he was so far short of 109, he'd never make it to 109. He had 93 votes on third read of the income tax bill. And in September, he found the other 16 and overrode Jay Nixon on the income tax Why is the number 93 worth mentioning? Because that's exactly the historic vote we had on third read and final passage of right to work this year. Uh, I believe February 13th or 14th, it was before the middle of February that this bill went to the Senate. I'd say more, I'd say more than three months is long enough for it to be in the Senate. It's time for the Senate to act. Yeah. going around this state for two and a half to three years speaking on this topic to anyone who would put up with me. And there's overwhelming support out state, but there's growing support in the two cities and the metropolitan areas. You know, we, many of you come from distant small towns and rural parts of the state, but we cannot have a healthy Missouri economy if we don't have a healthy metropolitan St. Louis economy. It's 40% of our state's population and 50% of our state's economic activity, and St. Louis is in trouble. The Governor Nixon wants to cite the, the recent success, the increased investments by GM at Winsville, and that's fine. We all celebrate that, and we work together to bring that about, and these lawmakers did. But not that many years ago, St. Louis had five auto plants. And less than seven years ago, St. Louis had four auto plants, assembly plants, and now we have one. And we're supposed to be thrilled to death. How many of you know young people who are graduating, finishing their education and going off to Tennessee or Texas or Florida or to the Southwest uh, for new opportunities that we used to have in Missouri? I am tired of that, personally. I want to see our talented and promising young people stay here in Missouri. And freedom to work is the way to bring that about. All credit to these House members who took the vote early in this session to Speaker Deal and Majority Floor Leader Todd Richardson, who got the bill over to the Senate. Now it's up to our Republican Majority Senate, 25 to 9. I would have killed for that many senators when I was Senate leader. I had 18 to 16 my first two years, 01 to 03, and then I had 20 to 14. Now we're 25 to 9. They need to bring the bill out next week, get it to the floor, get it to a vote, and put it on Governor Nixon's desk. And I believe you all will have made that happen. Thank you.